Now, one more is doing a double stroke roll, and that's kind of self-explanatory. Now, we did a single, which is right, left, so what would a double be? Well, you're doubling it, so it'd have to be right, right, left, left. So what you're going to do, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, and just keep it going like that. Now I want to see people doing this. I'm doing a double stroke roll, dude. See that? No, that's a press roll. When you're digging into the drum, a double stroke roll is up. Hear the difference? Right, so you're gonna go. Now you hear a lot of double stroke rolls from Chad Sexton, the drummer of 311. He always does that. Or, uh, song he does. He, he does it with singles too. But he's always like you know, he does a lot of that kind of cool stuff. So shots go to Chad Sexton. And uh, so that's your double stroke roll. Then kind of like what I've showed in, in the past videos of what we can do for double stroke rolls. Remember how I was doing the singles and going in the hi-hat and doing like the gospel kind of stuff? Well, doing doubles are fun too because you can double both hands and take one hand and you go pop, 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 pop. And you can go doubling all around your toms or cymbals. So you can get this. with this hand. You know, and vice versa, going with this hand. things with just those two rudiments. And then the last rudiment that I want to talk about, which I use a lot too, is a paradiddle. A paradiddle consists of a single and a double together. So what you're going to do is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Now I apologize for all the people that know all these rudiments, just bear with me, but the people that don't, this is the very basic structure of the rudiment. So what you're going to do is you're going to accent the right, right, left, whoop, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, and this is your single paradiddle. Now, you can do a double paradiddle, which is kind of easy to understand. It's right, left, right, left, right, 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 left, right, left, left, left. So it sounds like this. Ah. Put a paradiddle and a single paradiddle, you kind of get like a wipeout, so it goes like this. Alright, so 
So those are the rudiments I really want you guys to practice. And then you can go buy books and it teaches you 99 to 120 rudiments. There, you can make anything a rudiment if you're doing alternating sticking. You could go. You know, anything's a rudiment. Now, last thing again before I let you guys go, I want to talk about back sticking. It's cool to learn and it's cool to definitely get your chops up. You're going to do a double stroke roll, right? And you're going to take one hand away and it sounds like this, like I showed you before. Then the one's going to hit. Think of uh, the drum sound from the Braves. So it's kind of got that. So that's all you're going to do. And then you're going to hit once here, so you get the, remember that one? And then move your hand. Faster with this hand, it sounds like this. This hand, same thing, double, single. Okay, then you add it together and you get this. Also play with the button. So there you have it: back sticking, paradiddles, double paradiddles, singles. So please practice those, and then next time we'll talk about other stuff. Thank you. God bless.